like about the new board is the clarity. It's much easier to be able to show small clips and um, for students to see what my screen is doing at all times. I don't need to close the blinds, I don't need to close the door or turn the lights off, and they can still see everything very clearly and much clearer than they used to even with lights off and doors closed and things. So it's much easier to show easily short clips of things um, and information from my screen to all of them. Uh, I also really like the size of it. It's much more compact. It's, the screen isn't much smaller, but the device itself is more compact and gives me more space. And the fact that it's not a projector means that the bulb isn't going to dim and things like that. So it's much clearer and going to stay clearer uh, and easier to maneuver around the room and to be able to work into a classroom. After you have three similar three different because you've read three poems and you've come up with those. What I'm going to have you do is come up to the board and add one thing. So of your six, you're going to add one. Yeah. easier to access the draw tools quickly in the new board. I don't need to open Mimeo um, to be able to annotate on the board. The board itself has annotation devices so I can quickly open those as well as a countdown and a stopwatch and things like that and the easier those tools are to get to the more often I use them so I found I'm using those tools far more often because of the ease of access and ease of use. Uh, it's also nice that it's touch screen so I have the pens and the pens are great but if I don't have it in my hand I can use my hand uh, and it's easy to be able to manipulate the board that way and the easier it is the more often you do it so I find that I'm using the board in that way far more often than I was before. For a teacher receiving a new one of these new boards I would recommend you just play with it and use the draw tools even when you think maybe you don't need to because I've learned new ways that I wish I had been using it for a really long time even with the other board um, and I recommend that you let kids play with it too. Um, letting kids come up to the board and I found the kids found a few things that I wouldn't have figured out on my own probably or would have taken longer to figure out so letting their kids um, play with it too I think is a really good idea for the whole room to be comfortable with it and for them to teach you a bit too um, and not be afraid of it and press the buttons and see what happens and um, there's a chalkboard feature that's really fun where you can just open basically a blank note and the kids can draw on it, you can draw on it, and that's a good starting place even if you don't, like don't feel like you have to have a whole lesson plan around it before you try using it. You can just open something blank and use that for your notes for that day or have kids collaborate on it uh, and use it through or learn it through using it.